Hello, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, because we're listening from the money, baby, money and career. How are you doing? Your love read was intense. It's almost say, wow, okay? I don't even know what happened because the camera had issues, but you need to go watch it, all right? Now, if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Hopefully you enjoyed here. You like tarot, you like Oracle, you like to have a good time. You are in the right place. And if you really like it here, come on over on 536 to 30 p.m. Central Standard Time, Instagram, live questions being answered. Come hang out with me, all right? If you're a returning family member, you already know what's up. Big, big hugs, lots and lots of love, high fives, and some damn dirty shoulder rubs. What we got going on today, Junior? These are gonna be quick and to the point. You're going to start off the bat with exchanging gifts, if I could talk. Exchanging gifts. Um, the 27, okay? It comes down to a 9. There's an ending. Whoever isn't investing in you the way that you're investing in them, I also feel like it's time to get out of the box. If you have been doing the same thing over and over and it's not working for you, it's time to adjust. Look at your budget. Do not overgive. Do not overspend. And follow up with people who owe you stuff, okay? You owe me money, boo. I need to know. <laughs> Pay me up. Truth be told, right, like we have this situation, we have the wisdom that's coming out on our forehead with the windows of an opportunity. It's the truth being told is there's a window of an opportunity coming through for you. Fifth and the 14th could be important. There's a job offer. There is something coming in and we are saving our money for this, okay? We have been wanting this opportunity. This is not a job offer if you're in business for yourself. This is a collaboration or something you've been looking forward to that's leading you to a new life. I got a new attitude. Yes, baby. You're moving forward. The 14th is very important for you. I feel like your alarm is going to like startle you that day. Okay. You're about to leave a old way of being resign and retire. And you, you are needing a new job because you got that job offer. Right. And a lot of you are focusing on credit repair or repairing something at work. There could be unforeseen home repairs. Okay. Very interesting energy coming through for you there. Let's get into it with the tarot. What is going on? Let's see. We have the high priestess. I feel like you've gotten a vibe. Like you lately you've been feeling some type of way. Maybe you've been getting like trusting like your spiritual downloads. Maybe you're watching tarot. Maybe you're doing your own tarot. But you're feeling like you know something major is coming in. Okay. Maybe you got some news about something happening at work or something that you're just like, damn, I can't believe they're cutting, you know, cutting corners like this. I don't want to be a part of this anymore. At work, there's that 3-3. Three, three. So you're like, you know what? I'm going to go into business for myself. I'm going to make, I'm going to, I'm going to promote myself. I'm going to go for this new job offer. And there's the King of Cups. So I do think that there is a good partnership between you and an Aries Leo Sag. Are you really getting into your entrepreneurship? Because the Queen of Wands for me is I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-E-N-T. Do you know what I mean? She got her own house. That's you, baby. You got it all. You are everything. And you're going to go after your Nine of Cups. You are like sitting in a really nice situation. Uh, the 333 is going to be significant for those who get backstabbed at work. Okay? You saw this coming, Scorpio. Mm-hmm. I'm going to clarify with a different deck. What is this Three of Swords about? There was an offer with the Ace of Cups. Overpromising with the Nine of Cups. After a trip, something fell through, that Nine and that Ten. You're like, what? No, this is not what y'all said. So now they're looking at how things are growing, the Seven of Pentacles. But now they're initiating a new a new venture, a new, new things coming through. And it's, it's, it looks positive. So it almost looks like there's a situation of like, dang, you know, like, I can't believe they did this to me. Then we have these two tens here. And that for me is very significant of you saying, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and go uh, work on my resume. All right. Because the Wheel of Fortune says, I got this to go. Okay. There was some Shady McGrady stuff. The High Priestess wants you to know the tower. You kind of felt like something was going to happen. You just were like, mm, something just doesn't feel right, okay? So this double three, what do you overall want us to know? The four of wands. And look, they're like getting a tarot read together. Like, oh, let's, let's do this. Let's have a connection. They're having like a major connection. And maybe it's a romantic connection. I don't know. But this is about an establishment. You really felt like you were very stable. And then you signed a contract. And that contract didn't come through. And you're like, wait, this is pissing me off. The queen of wands and the queen of swords. 
Why? With the emperor, ooh, there's a lot of people involved, and the star, star, star. Okay, look, this is the vibe that I'm getting. There were like, there's quite a few people involved in this situation. Somebody overpromised something, and you're just like, you know what? I was on vacation, so why didn't why didn't this get handled? Like I wasn't here. You know what's going on? Ooh, ooh. So what does the King of Cups want you to know? The Devil. The Ten of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. Oh, <laughs> I love this one with the Knight of Swords overall. He's like, and there's the there's the Darby, you know? Like, he's not playing with y'all. Like, you're not playing. Like, you know what? You didn't like what happened. You should have handled business when I was here. I was not here. You can't blame this on me. I'm going to go and um, fulfill myself, okay? Nine of Cups. I'm, I was on vacation. I was not here but it's like somebody wants to pin something on you it's not going to work I do believe that there are a lot of people in there I believe your boss and there's also another co-worker who've got your back like they're like no they would never do that so it doesn't make any sense so I do feel like you're just like I'm not really feeling this vibe what do they not see this month what do they not see this month there's somebody watching the fox. They're talk. There's a lot of gossip, okay, about a new cut. Something's got to go, okay, and it brings anxiety, and you're like right there. So this energy, okay, if that's not you, that's someone very significant to the situation. There's a situation at work. A lot of people are talking. They're making these unforeseen cuts. People are getting cut. Everyone's getting anxious. They're trying to throw you under the bus because you weren't there. You were on vacation. You were living your best life before all this happened. This project fell through or whatever it is. So you know what? You're like, you know what? Y'all don't, don't want me to deal with this anymore. That's fine. I'm out. The Eight of Cups shows you just like being like, all right, cool. It, you, you are a little sentimental about it, but you're going to walk away from it, okay? Because you have been doing overtime. You have been working your butt off at this place, okay? You, you've gotten debt. You've gotten debt because of this. You followed up with the situation. Give me something else. And you want growth. And it's not letting you grow. It's not letting you do it. And you know what? You're like, you know what? Look, I have other opportunities that I have in front of me, and I'm going to go for it. And you have a new career path opening up for you. So either you're going to go into business for yourself um, or you're going to go tell these people to um, figure out their lives because you weren't here at that situation and you're not you're not responsible for it. And life is better with you than without you. And whoever is doing the betrayal, let's get a description of this person doing the betrayal. Three of swords. What is this betrayal about? Ooh, they make me angry. Okay, I don't like mean people. They have dark hair, dark eyes, Mediterranean looking, um, olive skin, they're tan. They look very exotic, Sag energy, masculine energy, um, Taurus vibe. And then we have the stars. They have very beautiful skin. They could actually have a birthmark on their face. And they're in cahoots with another person. Okay? So masculine, feminine energy is coming through. It could be two people going against you. Um... This energy is like foul. There's three people involved because I even have three people on the three of pentacles. Clues, clues, clues. What are these clues? The sun, yoga, the Catherine, and skeletons in their closet. Okay, this could be a couple, like somebody who works together and there's like a office couple or something or people that are in cahoots, maybe behind your back. But something's going to be brought to the light. The thing is, is that you're very flexible. You're a very good person. But this individual, um, I don't know if they're, there's something about 913. Pay attention on 913. There's something about that day. And I feel like this individual is a very snazzy dresser, okay? Like very hipster vibe. Okay. Whatever. Go sit down. <laughs> we don't like you. You can't sit here with us. So let's get some guidance from the butterflies. What do the butterflies have for, for Scorpio? Wow, what a read. We have finances are going to be very important. 
you are leaving a situation sobriety is important like be sober minded i don't even care if you're drinking or not sober minded you will have the support financially and what you need you are going to be leaving because it's self-care for yourself and you're forgiving them for this situation and you're going to get signs from heaven meaning like you're going to get clues like you know, three, three, three. You're gonna feel it. You got that high, pri high priestess vibe. There's the sun. It could have happened over something in the summer. That sun is very significant. Now you're willing to leave good for great when that card shows up, and you're gonna be very strategic. The 21st could be very important to you. You also have a lot of strength. Something could have happened in Leo season. Look, you're walking away. You're just like, you know what? That's what you want. And I already have the 27th down. And you, you already felt it. You already felt that this was coming. And you're very peaceful about it. And some of y'all practice yoga or meditation. And you actually felt it while you were doing a meditation. Like you got the message from your higher self that something was about to go down. Anything hidden that they need to know about before we close this read? Anything hidden? We have the anchor. The tower. There is a stable building. A stable office business building but there's something new to your heart and it's over there's something new that you're going to find out there's a very conniving individual in your office this individual has brownish reddish hair they they're, the way you're going to know who they are is the way that they walk they have like a very like interesting way of walking they're an overbearing boss and you're left at a crossroads don't worry, there is a new opportunity coming through for you, a new man, a new like option that you will meet at a social setting. And there may be an older individual, but it's like, don't even sweat the small stuff. Right when you feel it, you're going to start looking for something different. You're just like, huh, all right, I see how y'all are working. Like, you're not going to throw me under the bus. Bye-bye. What is their guidance for them? What is, we're closing out this read. We have, don't take anything personal. Everyone lives their lives in their own dreams. I do think that there's a lot of jealousy because I see that eye there. It makes me think of the evil eye. All people live in their own dream, in their own mind, and they are completely different from the world, the one we live in. Okay, so everyone has opinions. Take action on your ideas always do your best and then again the eye i do think you need to protect yourself from um, mal de ojo doing your best means to take action so you can have many great ideas in your head but without action upon an idea there will never be no manifestation start that business okay be impeccable with your word really realize the power of your word okay your word is the power that you have to create it's a gift that comes directly from the divine and overall don't take anything personally relinquish self-importance okay is the maximum expression of selfishness because we make that assumption that everything is about me it's about them those people are very crooked and they're trying to throw you under the bus but ha 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 jokes on this not gonna work all right so i hope you have a great month be sure to listen to your love read and stay in touch take care